prime ministers to stress that that you know it looks good on paper but your your staff or your ministers are not doing it Nakamik Twain, and that was Minister Paddy Hadju that you're referring to. Yeah. PJ? Yeah, yeah, to yan nami, ang anyap ka, nilag bigging mga mga katutan na, kasi kaya bigging talwa si Watok pa niya kasi ko, hindi sa kung matiyam niya kasi mso, mga kaso ng mga nitasyon niya, pa ni Maptok sa utuang mo. Abi tu cuma jadi ngangat dan jadi minister ke kata kata kegiatan na mampu matabu na mampu ingat 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 on atau sok cuma jadi tak kunungan unikam na lawak lawak tu ngapir cuma ni agak kutan na sulit kaju si bad liam mati siapa tu kau sok kau jadi gawamak kuni tak kutua kuluk tena ya semua mata insilo atau cuma lama kat tigo ayah bagus tigit dor tigo tar dor tigo iman na atau sui jadi ngangat tak Gawamak tu kat kuninga ngayo abit tu si majun ukat dagat tigi kudu tigo. Tanah apuk tago tigi tu si magat tigo. Utu tigi jago Environment Canada ko, Parks Canada ko. Ikanah ya kat kaya kat tu dia ko kunin. Uba gunga awlat tigi tu tu abit tu si majun tu ta. Ikanah ya kit tu wat tu tu. Kisah ni pin mario gitu tu tigo pin dia kaya kat jago. Apuk tago tigi kat tu si magat tigo. Nalo naya ko matu nak kat tu tu. Ukau sok kau jaga luang awil. Unik kasih tu kisian. Tiada kau sih atas si mandu ni Prime Minister Trudeau, Gubernur Lima tu, ilau ni atau ayat lah Australia tu ni. Atau tu kau tu asli mama zaman na. Tiada tahu ya kau sih mana yang ni ni kisian. Mapi mapi sifat dia tu ni nama pan. Pidi sifat dia tu. Tadi saya kau makau aku. Tanah atau tu walau sana kau piu nung mesak sifat dia memang. Nalun nakun sifat dia jauh. Tiada tahu kau nama nak. Pilih dia bu, utuh tu kita buat David. Tapi tu semua juga, kita tahu nak tetap banyak kisah ni. Pan, mab tu semua buat dia kata, aku tu kita tu kita tetap bukan. So, kalau situ ini, apa kau tu kalau angin kalau asing, atau pada dia jadi ni, ni dia rumah tu kau gama. Nak kau mik PJ, Andy? Nak kau mik Nathan? Um, I also want to say uh, something about the ICBC. I know that uh, since he, it started, uh, it has created a better relationship with the Inuit uh, landforms uh, leaders and put us in a dip, more of a direct uh, relationship with federal rather than being uh, just the natives. Um, we have become a working relationship as Inuit and it has uh, been generating uh, benefits and uh, it has more potential to do so going forward and uh, it's a really good uh, it's a really good uh, initiative and i support it very much and hopefully and very much so we will uh, continue to do so uh, one thing i would like to point out though uh, my concern is uh, um, i'll use a name uh, the experience that i had uh, over there was that uh, the ministers came, they were in the room, and we had to scramble to try and uh, meet them. And we had a very small time frame. It's like, uh, it's, uh, the, the impression that I got was that um, <clears throat> uh, they'll give us a little bit of time. We're lucky that we, if we meet them, and then they have to leave. Uh, it's the, the tone I'm getting, I got it, is that, uh, um, of course, uh, there's a government people, the ministers, and uh, we we have to go out of our way just to see them. And I hope going forward, if they want a partnership, uh, we have to be equal because we're elected too. We're uh, we're the delegates, and we should be treated as such uh, going forward. Welcome, Candy. Is there any further? comments in relation to the ICPC update? Great, now can make Tim and Will. Appreciate all the work that you both do. And again, as was already mentioned, all the work that our senior technical people in the regions do and all the political staff that are involved in this work as well. I know Lisa and June have played really instrumental roles and others in this room too, so. 
just thank all those uh, that make all of this stuff happen because sometimes it's late in the day or it's on a weekend or it's uh, a decision that needs to be made in two hours and it's uh, i'm really appreciative that our regions are able to work with us on the fly the next item is in relation to an inuit nunagat map that itk has been developing with direction from the itk board we are uh, confident, I think is the, the term that I'll use, that we have a, um, a map ready for approval by the, the AGM. And I have Kevin Kaluziak, who works in our communications uh, department, who will be making the presentation around the map. Okay, ma. Okay. Man over did no time. Um, ik ba kap dut um damani uh okap to kata na ramatu um to kim up the tea vote to how makata to the renam with air and temperature tamani na yokman in an extra magapko. Dan um inuit nunangat nunangwak twenty fifteen pilirari yoga dogman uh no tang of the gakalira up to go uh hit the fella Nin Nakit to get in Nunangan, Ujang and Rock to Ilangate, Amihong in a cow, Lakmata, Inuit Nunangan, Nunangit, Nunading it, fifty one would not matter. Amado Anga Katigin, Nikot, Ilangit, Nutang of the Tahima Mata, Imalerino Mikanu, Uktu Tigidogo, Nunaving me. Tihani, um, Tiani Larangi to Garak, Ubdome Anger Tauguni Tako, um, Amihongi to Garduit, um, Nutang of the Relia, Yakop the Relia, Uptu Tigilugunat Sevot, Nunadin, Nunat Sevot, Nut, Titirau Hing, Madig Lugit, Nunading, Titirap Himera Ramata, Yoptin Araptigo. Tema in a temporary cantame. Pilar Katakimang Matabic to him a youth, Timmy putting it to her Marta to the ring, Nuna the ring, a hanging low, twenty fifteen to get to go. The man a taqua, a Nunang walk in Nunang at Nitakun Narutan man, a Upigi to Tigil Larry Captigo, Nunagi Captigo, a Kanitio Mangat, a Maru Kanatame, Kanutigi up to Nakakima Manga, Nunakotibun. Nama chap to make the city who are up to Canada mutanic, Nunaka mutanic loaning, a kitu mangapta, and a mutant mangapta. Primero, Primero Tishu, he, Nunang Wami, um, Takugupi, um, Akigaling me, to her walk to good, a Imaka, a hanger tell him a lerone. Marco Hanate, the Kanga Lutik, um, Amihukanang, Amihulor Luta, the Makuninga, Hanayu Larapta, Outlay, you mark to the low, uh, Timirotikim. Jukihina Funga, Namaka. I'd like to add before we start the conversation that there are a number of considerations that went into this map. So uh, first and foremost, this is meant to be a very simple map uh, that doesn't take into to consideration the complexity uh, of things like subsurface lands or overlap agreements. So it's meant to uh, introduce anyone to our communities and to Inuit Nunangat. We have put certain things in, such as national parks or national historic sites, uh, but we have tried to keep this particular map as clean as we can so that it could be displayed more as an introduction than as a graduate course. In, uh, we, in our last board of directors meetings, we talked about having other maps that might 
have very specific purposes as well, but this is the general map, the map that we would spread the most widely. And then we um, anticipate that other maps for other purposes would be created that could then create a series that show our lands in the way that, that we want to see them. Nakumi, Kevin, for your presentation, I just wanted to make sure that everyone had the continuity for um, what you see in front of you. David? I just wanted to move the resolution to accept the map as proposed. We have a mover for the resolution. I could look for a seconder and then I'll open the floor for comments. Andy Pirti is the seconder. Great. Now, are there any comments on on the the map or on the motion? Dwayne? Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not overly exercised. To me, it's another map that reflects Inuit Nunungat. I remember the one I was telling David that we turned upside down and it had that view looking south from the North Pole. That one was nice too, but it's a, it's another map to provide awareness. Uh, and then they were asking, how come our region is so big? We said, well, that's ours. It's, uh, it's, uh goes farther offshore than some, I guess, but uh, that, that sort of thing. But that's what was negotiated. Uh, it, it is missing uh, a key historic site, uh, Kevin, but we'll send that in. It's missing a Kitigariwit uh, National Historic Site that recognizes the thousand years of whaling that took place in that area with us sort of thing. But uh, we'll have a look at it and send in our comments. That, that's my understanding of what the request is. So I don't know why we're having a motion yet when it might change again or people are seeing it for the first time. I think that we had introduced the motion because it had been work that had been done through the board and we were hoping that it was just about done, but with the um, the condition of the added historic site from the Nugara region, and then also the conditions that Kevin had uh, initially um, discussed, may not to replace names. Uh, Andy? And also a uh, transfer of Sandikilok Islands to Nunavik. <laughs> PJ? I don't ask a serious question now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> We just travel farther offshore than you in the past, no. Uh, I can't say. I mean, that's what was negotiated back in the day. Uh, we couldn't come to an agreement in regards to offshore. There was limitations put on us because of development already taking place in our region. So the government didn't want to uh, restrict or scare off uh, exploration activities. So they put restrictions on us in regards to certain areas that we could negotiate. Uh, unlike some of you where you were allowed to grab areas that you knew you had reserves and resources uh we we couldn't do that at the time um but in the wisdom of our elders and our negotiators if you were able to look at our map you'll see all of our private lands are connected so if there was to be any development and 
the, a pipeline that went through it, it would have had to cross our land somewhere. So uh, I, I should give you guys a copy of our Coke minutes and archives because we were negotiating together back then for Inuit Nunangat and in the Coke minutes in the foresight of uh, our joint negotiators, they were also looking at the self-government at the time. You know, they were thinking 75, this is what we were talking about with the government back then, and the creation of the uh, Inuit Nunangat, uh, what is now Nunavut, but this is what they discussed way back when, and then we uh, had a vote amongst our region um, because there was so much exploration and impact that we were experiencing. Uh, Nunavut region wanted to uh, take time to negotiate longer, but we were being impacted so much. The people voted that we need to negotiate our land claim now. So that's why we went ahead with uh, negotiating the Inuvalu final agreement separately. Mary? National Parks, <laughs> uh Nunavut um a Victor Kimaninganu Territorial Park. Uh Nalunera Kima you kitchen out of top mangata. National parks me matanuna be me ming was up thing. How you may have not to a chew cut you really react to talk to me that question. A Jamatakwa um a pekotitiang mata uh ilangit nalune nalune ria hot mata uh nunaliri nunaliri nun lands department could nun um I e to nut avati ila a bit to kima yuni. Do hakti da laukimagapta nuna bing mint kanitu mangata takwa um Mangwe Kabit, Kawigar Vik and up to Raka would not only tell the witch hook. Um, I I young to make Kalaka Mangata. Part of this uh, is also that in Quebec, uh, there the the term that the province uses to describe their parks is the same terminology that the federal government uses, even though they're provincial instead of federal. So you have national parks in Quebec that are provincial parks. That's And that's why there's that distinction in the map between the national parks in other Inuit regions and the national parks in uh, Nunavut. If, the, if you need further clarification, I'm sure that yeah. that can be provided and amended uh, if there is, if there is that Thank you. In regards to relocation, I'm wondering if those communities that were relocated are identified on here. I think it would be really good to have those on there for storytelling wise. Like you look at this and you say, oh, maybe somebody up here was relocated there to there. In the conversations around communities and then community names that would be on maps, this is meant to be an introduction and it is meant to only entail uh, incorporated communities across Inuit Nunangat. So any community that is not incorporated, outpost camps, um, communities that were relocated don't appear on this map because we wanted the, per the uh, the person looking at the map to have a clear understanding of the Inuit communities, the active Inuit communities in Inuit Nunangat. Uh, again, this could be another map that shows all of the 
outpost camps, historical communities, relocated communities that I think would be amazingly important. But again, the audience for this might not have the clear understanding um, of the difference between a Hebron and a Makovic. And in some of the maps that you'll see, uh, I've, since I'm from Nunatsi, I always look at uh, Labrador on, on global maps. And there are sometimes it's Okok, sometimes it's uh, Nutak or Hebron that still are on these glob global maps. And if you were not, if you, if you just were looking and wanted to understand Inuit Nunangat today, that wouldn't really give you a good sense of uh, the community. So that was the purpose of the board, making the decision for which communities were on and off for this particular map. Tyler? <laughs> Uh, um, obviously, apart from the uh, concerns around the, the writing system for uh, that's used for Nazi of Wits, um, you know, we also do have some concerns that, you know, near Nunes, near Nunes National Park maybe should uh, be <coughs> depicted uh, within the map as well. Um, you know, we, we have an IBA in, in principle uh, in the works and, you know, we feel maybe that should be uh, the park area should be dictated on the map as well. Johannes? Um, just to add a little bit to what, what you uh, just answered to Binky, um, the uh, Idrisoak Cultural Center that, that uh, is going to be opened in December uh, will also have a map and, and so uh, we will uh we're, we're working on uh you know uh the communities and uh place names and, and, and most certainly uh historical communities and, and, and so uh once uh that uh cultural center is is you know ready for public to uh look look at uh for example, the, the uh, map, uh, you, you will be able to see uh, what Labrador Inuit did. And, and uh, that uh, cultural center, you know, for Labrador Inuit, by Labrador Inuit, you know, of Labrador Inuit will show uh, uh, what it is that, that Labrador Inuit did, uh, where, where, where they were. And, and, uh, so that just just one example of a, you know, a, a different kind of, kind of map that, uh, you know, that, that will be available to uh, Inuit. In response to Tyler, perhaps, um, as you can see in the map, Upper Lake Melville is, is not in, included in detail as well. Anything outside of the uh, combined settlement areas of the four land or the five land claim agreements was not included. So in other parts of Inuit Nunangat, there are other overlap agreements, uh, such as the Dene uh, overlap agreement in Nunavut that are ongoing, that, um, that fall outside sometimes of the settlement regions. So we made a conscious decision to only include um, information on items that are inside Inuit Nunangat. Again, we were wanting to be very specific and um, pointed in the content that was created in this map. Is it acceptable to proceed or, or do you want to ask for the AGM delegates to consider putting the Mealy Mountains National Park in? I guess, you know, a, a part of the parks is, is within our land claims agreement. Um, and I'm unsure if it would be the desire of uh, the table uh, to even denote uh, that segment of the, the park within the land claims agreement. Um, and maybe just, uh, I'm, not, I'm unsure how you want to proceed with that, but obviously there is a part of the park that is within our land claims agreement. That seems like it's in keeping with the 
the um, distinctions that we wanted to create within the map. So thank you for that clarification. Are there any other considerations for the map? Uh, Jerry, sorry for forgetting. If you're looking at this, non Inuit look at this, be nice to know, let them know where our, our own private lands are. And also bird sanctuaries, we got about two of them in our area. Five bird sanctuaries in our area. Just a comment. The, the Inuit owned lands within the settlement regions uh, create a complexity within the map that, that, that makes it then difficult to sometimes see the, the individual communities. We, we went through iterations where we tried to add that complexity. Uh, and then with bird sanctuaries, that's a simple, our bird sanctuaries in or out, and that's just a matter for the table as well. It could be a condition of the approval. For, for the um, for the map. Ihuma kakhe otiri mi lang mi yabo chao tam na anger chao hima lagoni atok tulo kabut inu dunangat kanit tu mangat takuti chidu chao roni kihen ihubini kami hakati chiwa mi yabo na kud inu out la kimat mangata out la hok tu chao mangata. Uh, Yeah, one more. It's just a comment. I think the map is awesome, but just wondering the accessibility on it. So like what what are your plans for accessing the map? Like are you gonna be down Google Maps or somewhere where people can access easily? I um, ITK could make um, Kagatoya good um, website good. Man, I think now Mata, I again to Tununangui, there are a twin now now me of town. PJ? Yeah, Una Namagit, can you see Gumar Nama? Namina, the adding on the Nuna of Jangon, Sakhizu Megatar in the Nuna Hotting in. Yeah. <laughs> before before um we get to your point, <clears throat> um since we were doing uh nitty gritty, I just noticed um the tip of Nunavik, uh, that, was, that is not covered. Uh, is that an oversight or is there a reason behind that? If you look at the map uh, between uh, Labrador and Nunavik, way on the top, there's a little tip there that's not uh, covered. Uh, is there a reason why or is it just an oversight? <clears throat> well, why don't we can say that that is something that we will ensure that it meets the standard of the map for um, it's within Inuit Nunagat, it is within one or two regions, depending upon the overlap. 
and we will make sure that the criteria that we're using for all of it is, uh, is applied to that particular area. Okay. Right. So we have a motion by David, seconded by Andy. We have, um, I believe, uh, uh, about four um, uh, qualifications, uh, especially in relation to um, the Mealy Mountains National Park, the area of land that is not covered, that should be covered on the map between Nunavik and Nunatsia route. I believe there was one other point. There was, and there's the outstanding request from Jerry for bird sanctuaries to be added. And this, this one, and Kipigarjui as well. Uh, Jerry, are you comfortable with us proceeding without the bird sanctuaries in this particular map, but to come back to that in another iteration of maps that will be produced? Nakumik, now I'll look for um, those in favor of the motion. Those opposed? Abstentions? Great. Passed unanimously with the um, considerations that were highlighted in our uh, in the preamble. Yes. I move to close the meeting for today. <laughs> No, um, that's that's a that's a good a good try there, Andy. <laughs> we do have a bit of time we, uh, before five o'clock. I would like to go to five. We just have a couple of more things on the agenda that hopefully won't take very long. I'd ask that Carol Jatan come to the table uh, for the next item which is item number 11, the ITK audited financial statements. I'll also pass the, um, the chair for this particular item to Aluki Kutter, since she is the treasurer for Inuit Tapui Kanatum. Aluki. Um, so we're going to um, item 11 in our binders, and you'll see that there's a briefing note. And following br the briefing note, there's a document there. That's the financial statements for Inuit Tepari Year ended March 31st, 2018. So that document has all the detailed information you might need in terms of the portfolios and the projects that um, ITK has been working on for 2017-2018. Um, ITK during this year um, has had a stable financial position and we have a surplus of 78,783. And over the fiscal year 2017-2018, um, the total revenue was $9.6 million, and that's a 3.1 um, $3 million increase from last year's when we had $6.5 million. Uh, one of the things that ITK finance staff have been working really hard with the federal government is to make the process better in terms of uh, flexibility and consistency so that we can have multi-year agreements with the federal government. When you look through the briefing binder, you'll see um, the diagrams that explain the different revenue sources. And if you continue, you'll be able to see the different expenses that um, ITK had over the year. And it is my recommendation that um, the annual general meeting uh, delegates approve the 2017-18 audited financial statements 
as presented. And Carol, do you have anything you'd like to add? PJ, the 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 all those in favor? Oh. <laughs> Is there anyone not in favor? Oh, no. Against? Any abstention? Thank you. It was unanimously carried. <laughs> um, we're just going to proceed, Natan, to the next agenda item, where um, under tab 12, it's the appointment of the ITK 2018-2019 auditors. As I was explaining yesterday during our board meeting, um, we've been using, ITK has been using KPMG for a number of years, and the practice has been that every five years, ITK does a review of their auditors just to ensure that they're the most uh, competitive and just to make sure that we're getting the services that we require. So it is my recommendation that we continue with KPMG. And there's a resolution in the under tab 12. Andy Nute, Koyanami. Andy Nutanga, I Pertova, Gerald, Koyanami Gerald. Okausik Sakakviva, Apertik Sakakapa. Neruanga Musa Luta, Namak Sakut. All those in favor. <laughs> Namak Sangitun. Neruangitun. Koyanami Kayusivo. Iksibata iling no utakti paranatan. Nakumik, we have uh, one more item that we would like to uh, to go through today, and the. Um, the lead up to the presidential election, there has been a lot of conversation about the ITK election rules and procedures. This also was a conversation at the ICC Canada uh, election that just happened a month ago in Ukiavik, Alaska. So we have prepared a briefing note uh, and uh, we thought that it would be good for the AGM to have a conversation. I'm going to declare a conflict on this item since I am running in the election and I'll hand the chair over to Monica El Kaneo for, um, for you to lead this item. I'll ask uh, Will David to come to the table. Oh, oh there he is. <laughs> So the bunny of our Sakana Yugo Takulinga Nagua Neo Michano, the Kujang in Nick will only carry Yarrow Narobin. Ma'am, thank you. Um, so 
If you turn to tab 13, there's a briefing note um, in there. Um, ITK's election procedures and bylaws, um, so the procedures themselves uh, were last updated in 2012. Um, one of the things that we found uh, basically in preparing for this, this election um, is that there's a number of um, potentially relatively minor um, updates that could be made to the procedures. The reason why this is important is that any place where the procedures themselves are vague, um, effectively the um, elections team, which is to say the returning officer, the chief returning officer, or the deputy chief returning officer have to make some kind of a discretionary judgment call. And in general, it's preferable if Okay, proceed. Thank you. It's generally preferable if um, the returning officers themselves don't make um, discretionary calls um, where possible. Some of these are really, really uh, minor and insignificant and overreading the rules can lead to, to issues. Um, but as an example, um, in 2012, for instance, electronic transfers of payments um, weren't really possible um, through major financial institutions. Um, our procedures require the deposit, uh, $200 deposit uh, by check. If somebody is basically not located in Ottawa, it can be challenging for them to actually transfer the money to ITK by the deadline. That is a really minor um, issue. A potentially more major issue um, is that our returning officers are all employees of um, ITK and it's worth considering whether or not we would actually want to move to a, a third party um, a third party returning officer. Um, in addition, um, the election procedures themselves are really silent on whether or not we actually um, need to have uh, a question and answer period during the actual election itself. Um, practices evolved in such a way that we do that as custom um, it would just be really helpful to fix it and also to fix the amount of time that we actually provide or alternatively to, to not have one in the procedures. Um, and it really is just a matter of uh, ensuring that we minimize the amount of confusion and ensure that there's actually fairness in the process. Um, so what we're recommending we do is not, uh, certainly not to change anything in the middle of um, an election period, but rather to actually strike a working group to ensure that ITK's election procedures are updated and consistent with um, ICC Canada's, and then return back to the AGM with a series of recommendations. The rationale for returning to the AGM is this is the body that actually elects the president. Um, thank you. Oh, please, any questions? Thank you, Will. Do we have uh, questions on the briefing note before us? Is the will to begin the process of a working group towards uh, creating rules, uh, bylaws, and procedures? What's the wish of uh, the board? Dwayne? No, I wish, uh, no, that's, uh, it makes sense. I mean, uh, let's tidy up the minor issues that uh, Will's pointed out, uh, even though on the second page, the top sentence is incomplete. So I don't know what you were making reference to there, but it must have been really confusing if you couldn't complete the sentence. <laughs> but uh, as well as a uh, definition section, I guess, because we're kind of wondering ourselves, what is a direct election? Um, the only thing we could think of here is that it's show of hands right off the bat. I don't know. So if you're going to have terminology like that considered, then we would have to have definitions to explain what these things mean. But I mean, there's processes out there for structures that we have to clarify all this. So that's our preferences. That's put a working group together and get this dealt with. Okay, PJ. 
Helpful to, to actually look through both um, uh, the elections procedures and the bylaws. Um, the intention of the note is just because there are linkages in the bylaws to the election, specifically the bylaws name um, the executive director as the chief returning officer. And I mean, it's a very minor issue, but it is a real one that it's unclear whether or not nomination papers should be sent to the executive director or someone titled the chief, chief returning officer even though it's the same person. However, I think that once you open a bylaw discussion, um, it's quite possible that you would be looking at other provisions that are in there. Um, the particular provision that we were dealing with yesterday is there for a reason. Um, and, and I would imagine that if we actually entered into discussions about the bylaws generally, hopefully we could get into a, a functional discussion about why those um, provisions are there whether or not they uh, need to be modified or not, and if so, how. Um, Andy? Monica. Um, 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 Nilirotolongo <laughs> Um, 
Did you want to say something more? Just uh, yesterday, we were dealing with the, the board. The, the rules on the AGM is because this is a meeting of the members. Each member, that is to say, each organization has the ability to designate a member representative to facilitate um, participation in the meeting. It, it's, again, a provision in the bylaws that creates a difference between board of directors and AGMs, and presumably is there for a reason. Although, again, I, I, I think it's never unhealthy to actually revisit why we have uh, provisions in the bylaws when we play out. Johannes? Nakomik Manika. Tamakua, she would did not a new son need him Mario Mata and yet sorry in Tamakua and the year of any minute. Takuria and new sure tonic at two water so matter senior lotic Ilariloma. If you are coming with a tema in a lotta, which I had to give them it. At a way, honey, to it. Tame in Maritaqua, and you get so you eat. You mark so low. So do you turn in me? Or how you come below need? At a way, hanging it. Is a Maria Kane. Tame and Tamana. I take a good. uh <laughs> Inon not how you may all be not. Taman na takut chow ni wot. Inon nek inoit no nangan ni ikarut tiyo lo ta. Takut chow takut chow siya kaya habo ko ilon na ilot kaya matu how you mulo amma pichia hatigin ni ko ikarut tigin ni ko siyo pia sa nyan nyanit ni. Taman upig magit taka. Is a very hot near and near. I take a colon need, I see sea colon need, and you to the airport. She will cut up to your channel. Nakumik Nakumik. I'm hearing people wanting to go towards option one as a recommendation for a course of action. I don't have a motion for this um, a show of hands perhaps uh Dwayne? i just want to clarify that uh, this is an itk agm and uh we it it should be stated in the option if that's what everybody agrees to that we recommend to icc canada mm -hmm. that it also consider doing a similar undertaking because this isn't an icc canada meeting and if they are to do that, they're going to have to have a meeting to formally record this discussion in their minutes uh, for the Canada Corporations Act and all that sort of stuff. So it's legal. Uh, the other part is I, we're, we're going down the path of discussing this stuff so much already. Um, I think a lot of these other things that people want to look at uh, should be put off and discussed for another day uh, but I do want to point out the reason I mean I'm aging myself again the reason it was emphasized at the board of directors level is to make sure the proper people are going to these meetings to give ITK or ICC Canada the direction required and to make decisions because if you're gonna, you say, I can't make the meeting, what was happening was I can't make the meeting and they're sending a staff person on occasion and they're saying, well, I'll take it back and get back to you. And nothing was starting to get done. So that's why at the director level, it's the, the presidents or the chairs of the bank claim organizations. Uh, so that's the 
clarify that is, and the wills clarified the AGM issue where each region delegates who you want to have attend this meeting and you do have the authority by being delegated from your region to vote and make the decisions here accordingly. Michael, Mike, Dwayne, uh, Will, did you wanna, did you have something else to add? No? Okay, PJ? Yeah, I'm gonna be, 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 I'm gonna เอาเข้าเสือวัดเดียงนี่นะครับที่กูอามิสกุปัดเดียงนี่ปิกัตเตอร์กูอยากคุณเนี่ยมึงนี่ปิกัตเตอร์กูอยากคุณนี่ถ
because the direction is already being forwarded to them to go and do that work now. And then they can present to us and then we can discuss it at that time. Okay. I think we're all in agreement. Um, I see nodding of heads for option one. So, yeah. Nekopmik, Tabona, Isula Kokota, Koyanamik, well, and Koyanamik. Okahunela Rako, it's a lot to see. No color along in it in it, no longer tell me to ping as soon how you may just see a Nayokang woman and moon in it, the very Canada me, Taima, Tony Okata, what see Kiko Mangata, Okanama, or no Narati, Unuk, how put no one now near to Lugo, Koyanami. Okay, Rebecca. Udlako Piyana Pita, a chivo to see you to see you. Been closed. Um, <laughs> am I still chairing? <laughs> we had uh, just the date and location of the 2019 ITK AGM. If Makivik Corporation does not have that now, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry, it is the end of the day. Uh, so I'm sorry, Nunavut. Uh, it was Nunavut's turn for the AGM next time. And do you have a location and a date? Okay, excellent. So uh, we'll look forward to hearing the date and the location of the 2019 ITK AGM after your board meeting and deliberations at your board meeting. Can we start the um, the election tomorrow at 9 a.m.? Is that acceptable to everyone? Great. So uh, with that, I would like to um, look for a motion to adjourn the AGM. Nobody wants to close. <laughs> okay. So... Uh, Andy has moved to adjourn. Jerry is seconded. All in favor for adjournment? All opposed? Yes, carried unanimously. Nakumik, everyone. Thank you so much for a productive day. On schedule. Yeah.